Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to enable or disable push to talk on Discord. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is have your Discord application opened and of course be logged in. Once you're logged in, we're going to be coming down to our username on the bottom left and we're going to be looking for the user settings right here. We're going to be clicking this open and this is going to open up the settings for our Discord account. From this point, we're going to be coming to the left panel and we're going to be looking for the app settings section. From here, we're going to be clicking on the voice and video and then we're going to be getting some more options for our voice and video. Now, the second option here should be input mode and here we'll have two options for either voice activity or push to talk. So for those of you who don't know, voice activity will be used whenever your mic picks up any sort of input. So this can be from background noise, this can be from your dog barking in the background. Anytime your microphone picks up audio, Discord will pick it up. Push to talk, on the other hand, is going to set it up that whenever you push a button, then your microphone will pick up input. So this might be useful if you've got loud noises in the background, or maybe you just don't want every little sound on your microphone to be picked up. This is a good way to do it. To set up the key you actually use for your push to talk, what you can do is enable a shortcut here. You can click this, and then you can click any key on your keyboard. In this case, I'm going to be clicking the letter B as an example. But as you can tell, Discord still currently has the stop recording button here. So what you can do is set up multiple keys, but in this case, you can't just click one after another. You have to click both at the same time. So in this case, if I hold B and V, you'll see Discord will then pick up B and V as my example. Once you click stop recording, this will be the shortcut for your actual push to talk. So whenever you join a new lobby and you push B and V together, push to talk will then be enabled and that's how your Discord will talk. Of course, you can come back here and change this to any combination you want. The last thing we can set up is a release delay and this will determine how many seconds or milliseconds after you'd let go of the button that the delay will be for your push to talk. So in this case, the lowest is zero milliseconds. So that means once you let go of the button, it instantly stops. Or you can set it up to have a delay of two seconds. So once you let go of your shortcut, it will then hold on to the microphone delay for two seconds after. Anyway, guys, it's that easy to enable or disable push to talk on Discord. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.